Hello and welcome to Trains in the Attic. And unfortunately the last time we'll see the layout like this. We're going to have a running session of my brother's line. And then we're going to... Um, then that will be the last running session of this layout. But after the titles I'll explain to you what's happening, why it's happening and then we'll be able to have a running session. So what's happening with the railway? Well, as many of you will know, I'm going to university and I'm just about to enter the third year and um, when I finish uni I don't know whereabouts I'm going to be working and um, I might be here I most probably won't be here so it makes sense to take the railway to pieces as I want to do it uh, properly save as much as I can. I could wait till middle of next year to start taking it to pieces but um, I decided to take it to pieces now. From Saturday we're going to have videos on how to pack stuff away and how best way to maintain your stuff when you pack it away. But um, I'm planning to keep all the buildings, all the models and most of the track only track I'm expecting to lose is for the track which I have loaded load down which is about 20 pieces of arm flat C track and does some points. I'll still be able to use all the point motors, I'll still have all the digital equipment and then when I finish uni and end up wherever I end up there's a very good chance that I'll have a room for my railway so depending on my job you'll get to see the railway built from the ground up with new techniques for me learning from my skills trying not to have the major problems I have had actually having a layout designed for the camera so this is a sad time knowing that this is the last time I'm ever going to run this layout but it's sad for a good reason because everything's going to be bigger and better in the future. So the line we're going to run today is a preserve line. This bit was my brother's layout and I'm dedicating this video to him today. You have a picture of him at the end as tomorrow would have been his birthday so that's why I saved this one to last. But um, his line was a preserve line. So it will represent uh, a train coming into the station, uh, ch changing the end of the loco and then going off again. So if you have any questions put them in the end. Uh, the channel isn't going to finish here. I'm planning, we're still going to have our Wednesday live streams until I go back to university. From when I go back to university, we'll be going down to one video a week till December when it's going to be going daily. Then um, if shows start up again, we'll start doing shows. And I'm also going to be taking time to detail my loco so putting people in I might be adding extra lights adding internal lights and doing that kind of thing so we're still going to have content and it will mean that when I do start to the next layout instead of my empty lo locos we're going to have locos with people in we're going to have a bit more life to it and so that's what's happening so let's turn the camera around and watch the 1045 
from upline coming into the station uh changing around and then going back off to upline so i'll turn you around <laughs> So for locus now off to the head shunt to move along.
So that was the last train running. Actually, I give us one last steam train, and then that will be the last train ever run on this layout. So I'll turn around. So about the hands on the last train. But let's go to the last train to be run. This is an Oxford goods train. Um, DCC fitted. If I turn on the system, we can get some sounds. So put that there. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed the complete making of this layout. I know not all of it was shown on camera but you have seen a large change. As I have said my favourite bit got to be that viaduct and that's one of the bits that won't be making a comeback because it's so warped and off shape. But all the buildings will be kept, all the retaining walls will be kept, um, all the locusts will be kept, all the electronics will be kept, most of the wires going to be kept. So I'll be trying to keep as much as I can so it's just new, new baseboards and new cork. So uh, it's going to be a change of what we have on here. Also, I still got the uh, thumper road downstairs, which I can work on. And I still got the board, which I haven't finished. So I'll be working on that. So I have something for the next layout. So thank you, everybody. Remember to like, to share, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all on Wednesday at 8 o'clock for my live stream. Thank you very much, Richard.